your manifestation and your specific person is so much closer than you could ever imagine because truly there is nothing stopping them from texting you in this video but we've set conditions on our desires that causes it to not manifest as quickly in our reality. But we can just eliminate those desires or those conditions, I mean, and we can see our specific person show up in this moment. And so what I mean when I say conditioning a desire, it basically means you're stating that a, B, C, and D need to happen in order for me to manifest my specific person. So you could be thinking right now, they have to think of me, they have to want me, they have to desire me before they are going to send this message, but then that's implying that it isn't already that way. So that is a condition on your desire that is basically just manifesting time. And think about it this way, and let's exaggerate this example a little bit. So let's say you want to manifest being married to your specific person, but you're long distance. So in this way, you might have the conditions that you need to come closer together, you need to start texting more, you need to start going out on dates, meeting up, meeting their family, things like that before you can get married. But you're the creator of your reality and you are the one putting these conditions on your manifestation. So in this way, and because the bridge of events always comes in a logical path, because we have set those conditions, those must occur before we can marry our specific person. But in reality, if you take all of those conditions off and start to think from a more abundant frame of mind, you can see your reality and your specific person change and show up in this moment. There's literally nothing stopping you. It's just on those conditions that we are setting. And this is all basically the same reason why there is there is no logic or logic when it comes to our reality is very personal because what's logical for one person is not logical for another person. So if you, and I know it seems crazy to think, all you have to do is change what you seem or feel to be logical in your reality to see things change very, very quickly, but it is the truth. If someone feels as if it is very logical, their specific person messages them, proposes to them, asks them on a date tomorrow, then they're going to see that happen. But to another person, they have different conditions set on their desire. So if you feel it's not logical to manifest your specific person tomorrow, or for them to text you in this video or for them to propose to you, then it just means we're not into the state of it. Because think of this idea of logic, and I'll go a little bit more into detail so it makes a little more sense. Is it logical to receive a million dollars tomorrow? Is it logical you go buy a billion dollar yacht tomorrow? And some of us are going to say, well, no. And I would say maybe a majority of a majority of us would probably say, no, that doesn't make sense. That is illogical. I would be very surprised if that was going to happen. But there are probably billionaires somewhere out there, especially um, people in certain industries that tomorrow could receive a million dollars. Like think of Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, individuals like that. Tomorrow, it's logical for them to make a million dollars. And for other people, maybe it is logical they buy a billion dollar yacht tomorrow. And so in this essence, if logic was something that was universal and affects everyone, why is it logical for them and not logical for us? And you would say, because we're not in the state of it. So you can draw and push this further. Why is it logical for some people that their specific person proposes them to tomorrow or texts them in this video, but not for us? And you would say, it's just a state that we're in. And you can imagine it like this as well. Imagine you are the one creating the path or the road system to your destination. And so you can put whatever you want in the way. You can make the roads as long as possible you're the one picking and choosing it. So if you take a look at your manifestation, 
how long are you making this road? What do you, how long are you making the drive time? How many miles or kilometers is it away? And you're picking that. What obstacles are in the way? Is there a traffic jam? Is there this? Is there that in the way? Is there construction? All of this is your choice. So basically, running back to those conditions, as soon as we let go of conditions, everything ceases to exist. Because as we always say, everything outside of you is a mirror. You are picking and choosing the current assumptions you're placing on your reality. And your specific person wants to be in your reality. Your specific person wants to be obsessed with you. That's something that they want. You can also imagine the road system as you could either take a detour or take a direct route there. So in this video, hopefully this is making sense and you're gonna start taking the direct route exactly where you wanna go. And I'll give you an example of this in which someone chose to take this direct route to not condition their desire and manifested during a video. Here's what they wrote. They wrote, oh my God, my specific person just texted me. Thank you so much, Kyle. I really hope we would have fixed things and got to a happy place together in a happy, healthy relationship. I'm feeling so happy right now. Thank you so much, Kyle. For a second, <laughs> that was kind of hard to read, but look, look what happened. So they texted, their specific person texted them during a video, and there is no shortage of these types of manifestations, at least on my channel, that is. Because when, uh, whenever you are watching a video, whenever you're thinking of these things, it starts to interrupt or change what you feel is logical. And when you have the belief, and when you have the understanding that your specific person can text you right now, there's literally nothing stopping them. When that idea starts to come with in your mind and you start to believe it, kind of work it around, you take on that logic that tomorrow, whether you think in this moment it's possible or not, your specific person can propose to you. Your specific person can reach out to you, um, cross long distance, can literally do or overcome any circumstance that's in your way. It all begins with the understanding of or the bringing of this idea into a realm that is logical to us or something that we can believe because it's only conditions on your desire that's making it happen or perceivably take a long time and show up in the way that it is already. Conditions are absolutely everything. Stop conditioning your desire. Literally just think about anything else you want in your reality and test it out. Try it out on any other manifestation, any other goal you're doing. Let go, question those conditions. Why does it have to take a month? Why does it have to take a week? Why does it have to take a year? Why does this amount of time have to occur? Why does that have to happen? Question it. Question those desires and those conditions. I guess not the desires. Question your conditions because as soon as you question them, you're going to realize they don't need to exist and they're going to completely evaporate. As always, I still have the 30-day manifestation or manifest your specific person challenge on for all of my members. So I'm going live every single day to manifest for you. So if you want to check it out and be with your specific person next month, make sure to click the link in the description. As well as all this, as always, I'm setting the intention, every person viewing, all my subscribers, and definitely all my members, you are manifesting your specific person. I'm going to make sure of it. So at this point, you have no choice in the matter. You have to be with your specific person. If you did have any questions about anything we talked about today, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Remember, you can also reach out to me on my website at kyleaugustcoaching.com. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Again, for for all my members, I'll see you at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time for our next day in our 30-day challenge. And for everyone else, I'll see you in my next video tomorrow.